Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building an electric locomotive, and my favorite of the electric locomotives, the GG1. This time, in a Conrail paint scheme. Conrail inherited some of these from Penn Central, so they did wear this paint scheme for a while. So this is what it looks like here. Now let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with a black stone brick block, and we're going to put one on the bottom middle, then an upside down black stone brick stair facing outward on either side of it. On top of it, we're going to go five wide with black stone brick walls coming out to each side. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block here. And then under that, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're going to open a fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then we'll come behind it with our black stone brick block. And we're going to do a two block tall T shape in the middle like this. On this outer edge, we need to get two temporary blocks here. And two temporary blocks on this side here. And we'll use that on the back to close two dark oak trap doors going this way on each side. And then we can take out the temporary blocks. Then we're going to crouch and put a trap door here and here. And we will repeat on the other side. So take out these temporary blocks and crouch. And we'll put a trap door here and right here. Now come on bottom on the next block right here behind this and put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, do a netherite wheel on each rail. Then do a deep slate tile top slab in between the wheels, then three wide of deep slate tile walls. Then one top slab in the middle, and then three wide of walls. Then we'll put a slab on the middle here, and a netherite wheel here, and one over here put a fence gate on the back of these two wheels here. Then we're going to put a hopper on each netherite wheel. And then crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. We will repeat on this side. So put a hopper on each wheel. And then crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. Then we're going to take a deep slate tile stair here. We're going to put an inward facing stair here and here. Same thing on this side, then a deep slate tile bottom slab on the center of each side here. Then come up here and crouch and right behind these two fence gates, put a sideways fence gate on each rail and then open each one. Then we're going to swing around behind it and we're going to come in the center with a black stone brick block and we're going to put two black stone brick blocks in the middle, then a deep slate tile wall in the middle. Two black stone brick blocks, a wall, two black stone brick blocks. And on each of these black stone brick blocks, we're going to put upside down polished deep slate stair here, here, and here. Then turn the other way and put one on all three so it's back to back stairs in a T shape. And then we're going to repeat that pattern on all three of these on this side, just like that. Then on these gaps between here, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on all four of these spaces here. Just like that. Then behind this, we're going to leave five empty blocks of space. And on the sixth block out, two black stone brick in the middle. So there's five empty blocks between there. Then a wall here, two more black stone brick blocks, a deep slate tile wall, two black stone brick blocks. Then same as before on all three of these, we're going to put back to back, upside down, polished deep slate stairs, and then repeat on this side. Then we're going to come through and put a dark oak fence gate here and here. Same thing on this side. Then come in here and we're going to open a fence gate here and here, and open a fence gate here and here. Then come to this end of it and open a fence gate here and here. Right in front of these two fence gates, we're going to crouch and put a sideways fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that, we're going to do a netherite wheel on each rail. Then a deep slate tile top slab in the middle, three wide of deep slate tile walls, a top slab in the middle, 
and three wider walls. Then a slab in the middle and another right wheel on each side. Then put a bend skate on the front of these two wheels. Then go through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these netherite wheels. Then same as before, crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. Then come to this side and do the same thing. Get a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper over here. Then, just making sure I have it the same way here. come in here with a deep slate tile stair. And we're going to put an inward stair here and here. And then a bottom slab in the middle. Repeat on this side, so a stair here and here and a bottom slab in the middle. Then in front of here, right in front of the fence gates, a two block tall T shape, a black stone brick block like this. And we need two temporary blocks in a column on this outer edge. And repeat on this side two temporary blocks over here. Then come on the back of these temporary blocks and we're going to close two dark oak trap doors here. Take out the temporary blocks. Then crouch and get a trap door here and here. Then repeat on this side so come on the back of this. Close two trap doors here. Take out the temporary blocks. Crouch and get a trap door here and here. Then in front of this on bottom, a black stone brick block with an upside down black stone brick stair facing outward on either side. Above that go five wide of black stone brick walls. Then we need to get a dark oak stair on this top middle block for the coupler. And then under it, a sideways fence gate. Then also open a fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then take black stone brick block, come back here, and we're gonna do a line all the way across the top middle of this and bring it right down all the way across to the other end. Then we're gonna come here where this open fence gate is and do a line of black stone brick block across here to this fence gate. Then start on this one and do a line across here to this fence gate. Repeat it on this side exactly the same way. Then we're going to put three sideways dark oak fence gates in this gap, and three ahead. here. Then we'll come in front of this and do a line of dark oak fence gates across here. Same thing on this side, a line of fence gates here. Then of course repeat it at the other end. So a line of fence gates across here, and across here. Then. Put a fence gate on the middle of this truck and three dark oak trap doors here. Repeat here, so three trap doors up here, a fence gate on the middle. Then we'll detail the one at this end, same way, so a fence gate here, three trap doors here. And finally repeat on this side. Then we're going to take out polished deep slate wall, where these black stone brick blocks here are on top. Do a line of walls across here. And a line of walls across this one. Repeat over here, so a line of walls across here, then across here. Then we're going to take out dark oak signs for some detailing. Then we're going to start here and put four signs across these walls every other block. Repeat on this one, so start right here and do four signs every other block. So it's like that. And then of course, we have to do the same thing on the opposite side. So start right here, four signs, every other block. And one more to go. Start here, four signs, every other block. Then we're gonna come stand on the end of this and crouch and put a single deep slate tile slab on all four of these hoppers. And then of course, repeat on this end, put a single deep slate tile slab on all four of these hoppers over here. Then we're gonna come on top of the end and do three light blue concrete on the middle. Above that, three quartz blocks, and above that, three light blue. On the side of this, put two light blue banners in a column like this, and two on this side. 
On the top middle, put a forward facing prismary brick stair and wrap around each corner on either side, like this. Then we will repeat that on the other end, so come down here. Three light blue concrete on the middle right here. Then three quartz block. Then three light blue concrete. Then a prismary brick stair forward in the middle and come around each corner on the sides. Then on the side of this, two light blue banners. Then two over here. Then we're going to come on the bottom, one block back, and out to the side by one with light blue right here. And we're going to come all the way across this bottom edge here with light blue concrete. down to this end, we're going to stop right here next to these banners. Repeat on this side, so come out to the side by one here, and then come all the way across this bottom edge with light blue concrete. And then stop right before these banners. Then we're going to come in here and where these holes above the wheels are, we're going to fill it with netherite so there's no holes. You can fill the whole bottom in with netherite if you want, but you're not going to see it, so it won't matter. I'm just covering the holes. Do the same thing on this side. Then, starting on the end here, we're going to go back to light blue concrete on the next layer up. Come right here, do three light blue concrete on either side. Then do four deep slate tile walls. And the vents are only on one end. So for the rest of this, we're just going to do all light blue concrete. So start behind the wall, bring light blue concrete all the way down to this other end. And stop right here again. Same thing here, start here and do a full roll of light blue concrete across this. Then we're going to come up on the end here. And we're going to put one light blue concrete here and here and a light blue stained glass pane here and here repeat at the other end. So one light blue concrete here and here, and a stained glass pane here and here. Then behind the stained glass pane, we'll just do another full row of light blue concrete coming all the way across to the other end. And of course, repeat on this side, start behind here, and another full row of light blue concrete coming all the way across here to the other end on this side. Next, come up here, put a light blue concrete in the middle, and an outward facing prismarine brick stair on either side like this. Behind it, go three wide in the middle with light blue concrete, and make that ten blocks long, so a three by ten. Then we'll repeat on the other end, so come down here, put a concrete in the middle, and a prismarine brick stair on either side facing outward. And that same thing behind it in the middle, we're going to do a three by ten of light blue concrete down the middle. Then we're going to put a black stained glass pane on this corner here and one here. Repeat over here, so a stained glass pane here and here. Then behind this, on each side of the top, we're going to do a single light blue concrete here and here, then two black stained glass panes, then a light blue concrete again. Repeat on this end, so a single light blue here and here two black stained glass panes on either side, then a light blue concrete. Behind this, we need to knock out this column of three because this is where our stairs will be. Same thing on that side. And we'll repeat right here, knock out this column of three, and knock out this column of three. Then come on bottom and put two upside down prismarine brick stairs in a column. Same thing for this one, two upside down stairs. Then of course repeat it on the other side. So two upside down stairs here, two here. Then on top of all four of these sets of stairs, put a warp door on all four of these spaces. Then we'll put a single light blue concrete next to all four of these doors on top. Then a single deep slate tile wall on all four of these spaces. And finally three light blue on the middle of each side. Then on either side of the door, do a column of three birch fences, and same thing for this one. And of course, repeat on this side, so a column of three birch fences here and here, and then 
and same thing for this door right here. Then we're gonna put a white stained glass paint on the side here, one on this side here. Repeat for the other cab, so one here, and one right here. Then we need to do where the lettering is. So we're gonna come down on this end that has these deep slate tile walls, and we're gonna come under this stained glass pane, and we're gonna knock out this middle row of five blocks and put in quartz blocks to represent the lettering. Then repeat on this side, so start on the middle of the light blue under this one, knock out five, put in five quartz blocks. Then we're gonna come over onto the nose here and on this middle block put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then come on behind this stair, put a warp button, then a dark oak sign with our number 4800. Hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Repeat on this side, so a button here, then a sign with 4800. Hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we will repeat on this end, so come over here, warp button here, a sign here with 4800. Hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. One more corner to go, sign and a button that same way and hit it with white dye and a glowing sack again. Now we need to make some banners, so come into a loom, light blue banner, white dye. Put a vertical on the left, make the bottom half light blue. Go back to white dye, put a horizontal on the middle, vertical on the right. New banner, a vertical on either side, then three horizontal stripes. New banner, horizontal on bottom and top, vertical on the left and right. Go to light blue dye, and put a light blue border around all three of these banners. Then we're gonna come place these number banners on the side here. So we're gonna come up above this truck where it's blank, start right here and use the banners to put 4800. And we will of course repeat over here. So come over here above this truck and use the banners right here to put 4800. Just like that. Now we're going to do the logo, so we're going to come next to the spins here, and we're going to knock out this pattern of blocks. Then we need to get light blue concrete behind the hole here. Then we're going to take a smooth quartz stair, upside down going this way here, right side up going this way above it. Then a smooth quartz slab up here. Then a stair going this way here. Then a slab under it. And that's the beginning of the logo. We need to repeat it on the other side. So we'll come over here. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to knock out that same shape right here. And once again, we need two rows of light blue concrete behind there to fill in the hole. Then we're going to put a slab here, smooth quartz, a stair right here. Then a slab on top here. Then a stair going this way here upside down and a stair right side up going this way here. Then to finish off the logo, we need to make a banner. So we're gonna come back into a loom, light blue banner and white dye, put a horizontal on the top and the bottom. And we'll come right here and we'll put two of these banners right here. And then repeat on this side, put two of these banners right down here and that makes the logo. Then up here, we're gonna put a single warp button next to each of these deep slate tile walls here and here. And repeat on this side, a button here and here. Now come on this top outer edge, start here, and do a line of prismarine brick slabs across the top, and bring it down to right here. Then repeat the exact same process on this side with your slabs. Then on the middle right here, put three prismarine brick stairs facing this way. Come to this end and three going this way, right here. Then come behind here with light blue concrete and we'll fill the rest of this cab roof all in, three white in the middle, with light blue concrete down to the other end. Then we'll detail the top of it 
so we're gonna come up behind the stairs and we're gonna put a warp button here and here, then here and here. Repeat on this end, so a button here and here, here and here. Behind this, we're gonna do a three by four of warp trap doors right here. Come to this end and a three by four of trap doors here, then three buttons on this center like that. Now, come on top of the nose, a T-shape of light blue carpet, then behind it, a three by three of warp trap doors. And we'll repeat on the other end. So a T-shape of carpet up here, then a three by three of warp trap doors. Then we'll work on the pantographs. So we're gonna put a grindstone here and here. Behind it, three fence gates in the center. Behind that, a grindstone on either side, three trap doors behind it. Then we're gonna come stand on one of the grindstones and crouch here. And we need to get three dark oak trap doors at this top level here, and three here. Then we're gonna crouch and put a single dark oak fence on top of all four of the grindstones. Then on this end, we're gonna come out to the side and put one fence here and here, and then one fence here and here. Then on all four of these corners, we're gonna come up by two fences. And same thing here. Then on top, we're gonna come in by one fence on all four of these. Then, on all these inner ones on all four, come up by one. And finally three across each side here. Then we're gonna put one dead center here. Then aligned with the center one, close a dark oak trap door on either side of this. Then we'll put three across here on the middle, and that pantograph's done. Then the other one is gonna be folded down so it'll be slightly different. So we're going to come behind these trap doors, a grindstone here and here, three fence gates in the middle, a grindstone here and here, three trap doors here. Then we're going to crouch and put three dark oak trap doors on either side at this top level. And then still while crouching, we need to get three right across the middle going this way. So this one is all folded up. And then we're gonna have to crouch on the side here and get a trap door right here. And then close it so it's bolted down. And then repeat on this side. Crouch right here, get a trap door here, and close it so it's bolted down. And that's the bolted down pantograph design. So that pretty much does it for all of our exterior designs here. So now we're gonna come in and do the interior. So go ahead and come on inside the cap here. In here, across this doorway, go three wide with smooth stone block, and we're gonna bring it down to this end of the cap here. All three wide and fill that floor in at the same level. Then actually in this end here, we'll do two rows of three across here, two in the middle, a lever here and here, two glow item frames like this with compasses. Turn around, and we're gonna put a smooth stone block here, and then start filling all this in at the same and just come around where this light blue concrete is. And fill this all in, all the way down to the other end with smooth stone. And then we're gonna do that same thing, two rows of three right here, two in the middle, two glow item frames with compasses, two levers like this. Then we'll turn around and put a stair here and here for seats. Then right here, two blast furnaces, two on this side. Then we'll put an oak door in the middle. Then we'll come down to the other cab. Then we'll turn around. Blast furnaces here and here, a door in the middle. I forgot to put the stairs for seats, so make sure you do that. Then in here, put an end portal here, two smooth stone here, and a birch door going this way, right here. Then up here, two blast furnaces and a decorated pot. Then two pots here, then two polished deep slate walls here. In this gap, we're gonna put a hopper and two anvils here. 
now the interior is done and we can go ahead and come back outside and I just realized I forgot the headlight on one end so we're gonna come up here and put open warp vents gate here up here a glow item frame with a frog light then on either side of this warp vents gate a stone button on either side then come down to this end down here a stone button on either side and open a warp vents gate in the middle and there we have it folks we finally completed our Conrail painted GG1 electric locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.